So once you've conducted your analyses and you've created all these amazing visualizations, you want to be able to share them with other people so they can get the same insight out of the data that you got in the process. Fortunately, Jamovi makes that easy to do. And what I'm going to do here is in the file exploring tables and plots is I have a table that I created showing the measurements for the iris data set. And then beneath it, I've created graphs broken down by species for each of the measurements. And I want to show you how to put these into Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and then Google Docs, Slides, and Sheets. Let's start with the table at the top. Now, what you need to do is you come over and you do an option click or a control click or a two finger click, and you get the table and you can say copy. Now, you want to copy it, see it says it's copied it. And now I'm going to go to Word. So I'll come down here, I have Word open, and I've got a Word document, and I can come right down here and I'm going to paste it. So I'll go to Edit, and then Paste. And what you find is it actually looks really beautiful, it's nice. It is a little tiny bit funky sometimes. It has some columns in here that are invisible. There's a little in-between column right there. But it looks really good. Now, if we want to put that into PowerPoint, I'll come down here and open up PowerPoint, and I'll come to this page, and I'll come over here and I'll just press paste. And now it looks kind of weird, because what it's actually pasting is an HTML table, and you see it doesn't even give us the last row of data. And then, of course, PowerPoint wants to do pretty things with it. I'm going to close that. But this is not a good table. It worked better in Word. Let me go back to Word and we'll take a look at it again. It worked. We got all the lines of data. It did not work so well when we went into PowerPoint. What's usually the best when you have a table is actually to put it into a spreadsheet. So I'm going to go to Excel here and I'm just going to do the paste command. And now you can actually see that it has these empty columns in between each of the measurements. So you'll need to move things around a little bit. You'll need to put the pedal width, take it from here and put it over here and so on. But it also allows you to easily rearrange, resize things, make them the way exactly you want. And so copying a table, sticking it into a spreadsheet like Excel is often the best way to work with tabular output. There is one other option I just want to mention. Let me come back to Jamovi. And you may have noticed that you had the option to save. Now, this gives you two different options. You can save it as a PDF, and I'll just call this table PDF. And once that's saved, you see it says it's exported. I'm going to come down to my downloads folder, and I will simply click on that. It's a very pretty PDF. Looks great. The other option is to save it, not as a PDF, but as an HTML file. So I'll call that table, and it's going to put .htm on it. I'm going to save that, and then I'm going to come down and open up that file. It'll open up in a web browser, and there it is. It looks exactly like what we had in Jamovi. So that's one way of doing all of that. Now let me show you how this works with Google Docs and Slides and Sheets. It works a little differently. I'm going to take this table, which I've copied. I'll just copy it again. Copy. And I'm going to go to Google Docs. I'm going to come right here to this. I've got a doc open right here. I'm going to come down a little bit and I'm going to hit paste. And unfortunately, it doesn't always work well. On this computer, it's not letting me select anything. There seems to be some kind of glitch. And you can see that the cursor has stopped blinking and it won't let me scroll. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to close that page by, and then I'm going to open it back up. And when I do that, it's there and I can scroll and you know it you can work with it I don't know why it does that it's a little frustrating and obviously things need to be resized and rearranged a little bit but there it is it's in Google Docs if I want to put it in a presentation in Google slide presentation I can click on this page and I can press paste right there now it's done two things first off it's pasted the table but it's also pasted this other square and truthfully I have no idea what that is it's invisible. I'm going to click off to the side and then try to come back and click the square and get rid of it. It doesn't really matter. And this one, I can simply resize it by dragging things over like this. That's not so bad. That one works pretty well. 
But the best way to do this by far, again, is to go into a spreadsheet. So I've got a spreadsheet here. I just press paste. And now you see it looks exactly like what we had in Excel with the empty columns in between, except this time the column names are in the right place. And so if you have tabular data, you can put it directly into a Word document, a Google Doc, a, a presentation, but it works best to put it into a spreadsheet, which allows you to manipulate the tabular data. But often, instead of a table, people are more concerned about sharing the graphics. So let's go back to Jamovi for a moment. And when I click on that, I'm going to come down and I've got a graph. I actually have several graphs here. Let's take this one right here, pedal length. And I'm going to do an option click on this, a two finger click on my Mac. And I can save it and I can save it as either a PDF or as an HTML like I did with the earlier ones. And it, it's going to look exactly the same. But I want to show you how to copy and paste it. I'm going to go copy. It says it's been copied. Now let me go back to Word. I come here into Word. I come, click down here. I scroll up a little bit. I press paste. Beautiful. It looks fabulous and we're good to go. And obviously if you want to, you can resize it. I can click on that and drag it down a little bit. Similarly, if I want to work in PowerPoint, I can just open this up and I can go to a new slide and I can paste it. And there it is. And it wants to give me lots of abilities to animate and stuff. I will click that. But that's a great way to share your information. It's big, it's clear, it's, it's nice. By the way, these have transparent backgrounds. So if you put it on a slide with a different background, it'll show up that way. And so that's a nice way, just copy and paste. Things work a little differently in Google Docs and in Google Slides. And let me show you how that works. I'm gonna go back to my browser here, and I'm gonna to try to paste in this image. I'm gonna come down here, and I'm going to press paste. And what happens is it says unable to create some images, dismiss, and it acts like it's doing something, but you know, it's not going to get anywhere. So I'm just going to delete that. And the same thing happens in Google Slides. The easiest way around this is to do a small intermediate step. And actually, this is a good thing to know how to do anyhow. Let's go back to Jamovi. And I'm going to take this graph. I'm going to right click on it. And instead of doing copy, if I'm going to go into Google Docs or Google Slides, I'm going to want to save it first. Now, by default, it wants to save it as a PDF file. And what's actually nice about that is PDFs are infinitely scalable because they're vector graphics. That's nice. But I don't want to do that for this one. I want to save it as an image file. So I'm going to come down here to Format and it can save it either as a PNG file, a ping file, which has transparent background. That's the kind I usually use. But you have two other options, the SVG and the EPS. And so depending on the programs that you're using, you may want to use one of those others. But I like the ping, even though it's now of set resolution. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to save it as graph.png. And now I can go back to my document here and I can come down to my downloads folder and I just drag it in. And there it is, and I can do the same thing in my slide. I'm going to come right here to my slide, and I'm going to go to my folder and drag in, and I'm going to center it. And there you have it. I have now successfully imported both tables and graphics into Microsoft Word and PowerPoint, the table into the spreadsheet, and similar things for Google Docs, Google Slides, and Google Sheets, although the way you go about it is sometimes a little bit different. But all of these make it possible for you to take the analysis that you've worked very hard on in Jamovi and find a way to share your insights, find a way to share the possibilities you've got in your data with other people.